Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book 91. We're talking to you guys about Sabrina and Walter. And what we're talking about here is the fact that, you know, with Walter, he is complaining, or at least underneath the surface, kind of grumbling about the fact that he's not impressed or not enticed by the prospect, the fact that she was an exotic dancer. So I want to kind of talk a little bit about why us men specifically um, not all of us, but some of us do feel some type of way when we see uh, women or uh, experienced women who have had that kind of past. And there's a, there's a thinking behind it as to why we get to that point. So we want to kind of explore the why reasoning behind that as well. So if you are new to the channel, like it, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate you. Let's get into the video. So. I think what we saw with Sabrina and Walter is, first and foremost, let's just talk a little bit about the fact that Sabrina pulled Walter up by the socks once more again, gathering his clothes and packing him up ready for service. What she described was the fact that with Walter, she had a little bit of miscommunication with him. He hadn't really been contacting her consistently, which is really interesting because we not sure then who is the person that's been consistent with her who's the person that's been consistent with her during a period of time when men weren't contacting her i thought that was walter but it sounds as if it might not have been walter because walter has been distant uh, previously in the past and so she was kind of pulling him up by the socks once more so the first time she has addressed the men in this particular way and i personally don't have a particular problem with it in this domain because if there is a problem she has addressed it you know what I'm saying? Like, if there's a problem with the fact that men are not contacting you, you're letting them know. Now, here's the thing. Um, by also doing that, she kind of alienates herself because, obviously, by pulling up the men by the socks in this particular manner, the way she does, men get offended and don't really want to hear what you've got to say. That's just the honest truth, unfortunately. It's a cold, cold, uh, cold calculated world that we live in. Now, what I, I did see, um, you know, when she spoke a little bit about, um, you know, her experience and being um, bullied as a youngster, I think many of us can agree and, and, and kind of sympathize with the fact that being bullied as a young individual robs you of your self-esteem and your confidence. And many of us recover, you know, in multiple various different ways, but it can be destructive for the individual as they grow. You know, going through those experiences can really hurt you and actually lead you into more painful situations your self-esteem can be noticed by ravenous wolves of men and they can use you and abuse you and it makes it just gets into a very worse and and, and painful uh, perpetual cycle that keeps on going round and round and round uh, with you at the hilt of the pain and so dealing with obviously Sabrina uh, she spoke a little bit on this I want to and I think I want to leave this a little bit more open and maybe this could be a conversation she could have on my channel uh, when we have a one-to-one -one with her and it's really around this whole she made a comment about being more confident after being in a gentleman's club and I, I, I thought to myself as a man how you know maybe not being as you know discerning or maybe not being as seeing things that way or maybe we just hear things differently when I heard, obviously, I became more confident after being in a gentleman's club, all I thought was, so you became more confident after you were uh, gaining the male gaze, especially after you just told us you were bullied. So my mind is going on to that, and it may not be the truth, and that's why I'm leaving it open. I'm not saying that's what it actually is. Again, I'm always open to having different thoughts on that, but it did sound like a bit like, okay, so you got more confident after being in a place where you had male gaze. And to many men, that can sound a bit like, okay, so you need attention to feel confident. If you don't get attention, you're going to feel some type of way, which then could feed back into how we actually watched her on the show. Did she act the way she did at certain points because she wasn't getting attention? Has she called out the men the way she is because she's not getting attention? Has she pursued because she needs to get the attention? We can start looking at it differently now because of what information she fed us. Now, I'm not saying for 100% that's what it is, but that's what I'm saying. Potentially when I was hearing that, I was like, okay, that means your confidence might be coming from our attention place. And look, and we all need some validation, don't get it twisted. But it could mean that you know you might have an over-reliance on needing that, needing that attention. And so when you don't get it, what happens? We don't know yet, okay? Um, you know, I, I think you know there's a little bit of hypocrisy, like I said, from the Walter side, because his lifestyle's not been very clean. I mean, he's had his own fog life in the past, and someone's going to accept his life. But he also has a prerogative, his own prerogative that if he wants to not want to be that, that's fine too. Um, you know, we, we, we're not saying that he can't have a, uh, an opinion or a preference, but he's just got to be aware of the fact that, you know, you're kind of maybe disqualifying someone or feeling some type of way about someone, but your, your past is not exactly clean. 
But I guess it kind of lends back to this whole point that men aren't very tolerant when it comes to this kind of stuff. Right? Like men make up a decision and they run with it. Like if they feel like you're not in that space and you're not in that in that uh, particular cohort that they 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 want to be able to explore things with, they're just gonna x you out. All right, um, and so that's what we kind of see with Walter and her expression of her being an exhausted dancer. We've not seen any enthusiasm, and he spoke about it even at the end in the deliberation with the men. I don't hear enthusiasm from him. I'm honest with you. I don't hear him being excited about this op that you know she's had this past. And many men wouldn't, because again, what happens is with us men is we are very territorial, but we're also very jealous beings, and also as well we're very much um, you know look at situation as possession possession wise almost in the sense of woman right and i say possession because it's the only word i could find but we we talk about how you know black women want men to be uh, a covering in society and i also about the fact that black men are to protect um and what happens is you know men oftentimes want to protect the innocence of things right uh, because you know a bit like having a, having a baby and the baby looks at you suddenly you have a maternal instinct as a woman or even as a man you have a paternal instinct to want to protect your family and protect your, your kids that should be something that you should have if you don't have that then I'm, I'm questioning you as a parent but you know you should have a natural affinity to want to protect provide and serve your family and especially your kids so uh, I bring that point up to say that when it comes to men looking at women they see that woman as I don't want to have other men gazing at my woman I don't want, I don't want to have other men it's a pride issue yeah I don't want to have other men who have dealt with her I don't want to have other men who've watched her in the club or in a, in a particular scene, you know, being an exotic dancer. I don't want to have that particular aspect. I don't have other men. I don't want to have other men who have accessed her in abundance because when I have to hold her, when I have to be with her, other men are going to look at me some type of way. And that's just the honest truth. Again, women might say it differently, but you're not a man. And this is how men think, okay? Because we think in, in terms of kingdoms. And you see, a, a queen represents your kingdom. And so if this queen here has a history of moving a bit mad, then for you, you realize that your kingdom is going to be represented by a woman who has shown outward that she's moving mad. And so everyone else will not take you seriously because she, uh, you know, has a particular past. Now, that may seem a bit odd. What I, you know, the truth of the matter is the man still dictates how people are going to view him. Now, he may have to do some work to recuperate the image. He may have some work to recuperate the, the, the image between the two of them in terms of how they present themselves to the world. But, you know, it, it's more than doable. What am I saying? I'm saying that you know, for us as men, image is very important. How we run our kingdom is very important. Our domain is very important. Our families are very important to us. Um, but we do care what other men think about a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Now, there are obviously men that don't. But a lot of men do care what other men think. They don't want to have a woman that every man's goggled at and looked at and seen naked. It's like there is no pleasure in that. There is no sacredness in that. There is no uh, joy in that. And there is no, there's, no, there's no boasting in that for us as men. Because like I'm having something that has been left over. That's how it feels like. Not that saying that woman is a leftover. That's how it feels like. And that's very important. How it feels is not necessarily how it actually is. And that's the most important part we're bringing to the table when we're discussing this issue. Um, you know, I, 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 I look at also the situation here uh, where he spoke about giving her space versus... Her saying, obviously, you know, you weren't really consistent. And I'm like, okay, Walter giving her space, do I believe that? Nah. Nah. Well, I was giving her space. She didn't have any connects. And her connects had disappeared a long time ago. Why was she giving her space? Why was he giving her space? For what? What did she need space for? That sounded like an excuse to me when he had two options. And Sabrina ba barely had two options. So it sounds like an excuse for me for his inconsistency of behavior. But that's just my personal thoughts. Uh, like, share, subscribe, click on the personal, uh, click on the bell button for notification of the uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked and stay loaded.